Hey guys, uh, okay, so I realize it's been a while since I've done a charity haul video or to be honest any videos So uh, I'm going to run through a little charity shop haul that I picked up today uh, the, majority of, the majority of this will be vintage uh, games, Amiga and early PC IBM games uh, But I've got a few other odds and sods to show you first uh, So I picked up a few of these which are uh, wrestling figures We've got, I'll pay a pound on these and they've still got their little stickers on, little tags on. Uh, this is Stephanie McMahon, um, as you can see there. Paid a pound, should get about £10 back. Uh, this is Vince McMahon. And once again, paid a quid. And I sh well, actually, you know what, I don't actually know how much I'll get from him. Because my plan was to bundle these up when I saw them. And I thought I could probably get sort of 15 quid for the two of these. But then what I noticed in that same uh, basket of figures was this one, which is actually a Vince McMahon, but it's like a bloody version of this one. And I've got a different tie on. This is a blue tie. That's like a white tie. So I know they're different figures. It's not been painted or anything. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure um, if the bloody one had any, any good value. If not, I'll just bundle these up and do like you know, a before and after kind of match set or something. And I'm bound to get 10 or 15 quid for these. So, yeah, three quid there into probably 20, 50, uh, yeah, 20, 20, 25 quid. Um, next up on the wrestling theme, we have a belt. Uh, and these are always pretty good to pick up if you see them. If you see them for like 50p or a quid. Um, I've got an ECW championship one as well. This is a WWE championship. Um, I paid one pound. It may not focus. My camera's been kind of messing up lately. But, um, yeah, so one pound on this. Probably looking at about 10 to 12, maybe 15 high end. Uh, it, is, it is unfortunately missing some some uh, gold paint off the champion. I might be able to fix that. And I do actually have some gold paint, uh, gold spray. Uh, and I've also got chrome spray, which sometimes I use just to um, sort of touch up bits like that and with up the screws and stuff. So just to make them look a bit better. So yeah, that's uh, a pound, 10 to 15. Uh, this one I've seen sell for about 20, 22 quid. This is a Prima. Um, I'll show you that side. Prima. It was actually where, you know, wherever we originally bought it, I actually only paid nine pound fifty of it anyway. I paid six pound ninety five for this, but I just loved it. It was in the box, um, and if I can get twenty quid, double my money, I'll be okay with that. It was just too good and too like vintagey looking for me to leave behind, even at six pound ninety five. Actually, no, tell a lie. I'm sure that was half price. Yeah, it was. It says six pound ninety five, but I'm pretty sure that was on a shelf that said half price. Well, let's assume I paid six ninety five. I can't actually remember, but I'm pretty sure that was half price. Um, right. So next up, a bit of a backstory on this because what happened was I went into a charity shop, and um, you know those glass cabinets that you, they pretty much every charity shop has. Normally next to the counter or opposite the counter with things like jewellery and uh, things like uh, music boxes and high end cameras or what they perceive to be high end cameras are usually in these cabinets. Well, I went in there, and the cabinet was full of big box PC and Amiga games. Let me fly, can't I? Uh, big box PC and Amiga games. And I knew I wanted them. I didn't think I'd get them, because, to be honest, some of the price tags on these were like £10 a game, all the way up to 30 quid a game, just for one. And I thought... I'm not really going to get them, but I thought, I'm going to ask. I'm going to go up. I'm going to just ask the lady how much for all of them in there. And in my head, I had 100 plus, maybe 150 uh, for these games that I probably would have been willing to pay. Um, probably no more than that. And to be honest, even that may have been on the high end. But you don't see this kind of stuff every day. And I love vintage gaming. So I, I wanted to have that on my eBay store. Um, and basically, I thought, I'm going to go up to the lady and ask. So I went up to the lady and I said, look, I said, oh, I'm just wondering. Um, I, I'm interested in some of them games in the, in the cabinet. And before I said anything else, before a single word came out of 
I have a mouth. She said, 30 pounds a lot. And pretty much what seemed to be like a millisecond later, I said, yeah, okay, yeah, just fine. Uh, I didn't, at that point, I didn't even know what I had. Uh, I had a, obviously a quick look before I bought them just to see what kind of stuff was there. Um, and these are the results. So I'm going to tell you, uh, well, obviously I'm going to show you exactly what I got and what I think I'm going to be aiming to get back. Uh, I may make a few mistakes here and there as far as pricing. I have priced them all up, but I've got to try and remember them all. Um, but it's very easy to go on eBay and type these same titles in and see for yourself what they're selling for and what they've sold for. So um, anyway, first up is a bit more modern stuff. This is a PS2 Simpsons game. Um, fully complete. About 10, 12 quid in that on eBay. Maybe a bit more on FBA. I'm not checked yet. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty decent. Then we've got a uh, good old Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, by the way, I've got 29 games here, I think. Um, I paid 30 quid, so it really is a smidgen over a pound a game I paid for these, which is pretty decent. So anyway, Hit and Run, uh, good 15 quid in that still, even the Platinum Edition. So FBA, maybe around 20, 22. Uh, then we've got... Um, Batman, this is the original Ocean release on uh, the Amiga, as you can see that, Amiga, CBM Amiga, uh, about £8 value in that, so not too much from your, from the pound investment. Uh, this one, Rainbow Isle, uh, Island, sorry, Rainbow Island, yeah, uh, this was actually a game that I used to play when I was a kid around my friend's house, uh, way back when I lived in Hackney, but, and this is... Um, I mean, this was 1989 release, and it even comes with like the still the original Ocean bag and stuff. All of these are fully complete, which is amazing, uh, considering the age, and they're all in really, really nice condition. Considering, I mean, look at that. To get a box from 1989 looking like that still, but the, the, here's the thing. I mean, they had 10 pounds, and they're priced up on that. So, wow. Uh, so, oh, by the way, I'm looking at 20 quid resale on that. That's on eBay. All these are eBay prices, unless I say FBA or something. But uh, this one, hard to say what it's going to sell for. This is Star Flight 2, uh, and this is actually on the IBM, and it's a uh, five and a quarter size disc. Really, really hard to say. Uh, comes with like still all the maps and stuff, and Obviously, there's the, for those of you, the younger viewers, that is the actual disc that went into the machine. But it still comes with its sleeve and everything. It's fantastic condition. Um, there's a guy on eBay looking at 49.99 for this, so 50 quid. I don't know if he's going to get that. But I don't particularly want to undercut the guy because there's plenty, there's plenty to go around. You know, if I price this at 49.99, then people have a choice of what one they want to buy. So uh, there's no sold, well, at least no sold that I've found of this. So I don't really know what it can go for. So, yeah, that, if I can get 50 on that, wow. Uh, but even half that, considering I'll pay a pound and a few pence for it, it's going to be great. Uh, this one was a bit of a unfortunate because I saw this. And they had this listed for 15 quid. Uh, because I, all I saw was that on the side. And I thought, ah, Final Fantasy, original big box, that's going to be good. But unfortunately, it's Final Fantasy Online, and the online versions don't have value. You're looking at about eight quid, so even less than what they were asking. But in their defense, they probably, when they Googled this and saw that Final Fantasy in this size box goes for 45 quid, they probably thought 15 was reasonable. Unfortunately, it's the wrong one. So I might just auction that, not an arm pen start or whatever. Well, two pounds start, maybe at least make something on it. Uh, because that's going to be there a while, I think. Uh, this one's pretty decent. This is Amos the Creator. Uh, and basically, it was an Amiga uh, game creator. You can create your own games. Um, and it's actually, I mean, for its age, it actually looks like quite a high-end game creator. Uh, they had £5 tag on that one. And that one's a £20 resale on eBay, as it is fully complete. Um, next up, some more... Uh, Let's go with these. Yeah, so next up some more 
of this kind, they had, I mean, they had £10 tag on that, uh, which is Heroes of Might and Magic. <clears throat> but it's sealed. So um, on eBay, you're looking at about 10 to 15 quid, so they're practically on the mark. FBA, I'm not sure. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I might send it up. It is sealed. Um, this one here, Red Alert 2, they had £3 on that. I'd be lucky to get it on eBay, to be honest. Uh, this one's pretty cool, Freelancer, uh, one of the best uh, space exploration, trading, action games I've ever played in my life, fantastic game. Uh, and when I bought it, just to play for myself and sold it on, I got 15 quid for it, and that's what I'll be aiming for this one. Uh, it can go from between 8 to 15, depending on the seller, but I'll, I'm going to aim for 15 as it's quick condition. They had £5 on that as well, so... Uh, next up, Speedball 2. This is the uh, Image Works edition, not the, uh, I think it's um, Kiss or Kix, K I double X. I also released it, but this is the Image Works edition. This was the edition that I had when I was a kid. This is on the Amiga, and uh, you're looking at about 20 quid on this. Uh, they, had, they had that priced at £5. Um, but yeah, so I should be looking at 20 quid. And lastly, of the what I call the smaller big box games, this is uh, Blood Witch, uh, but this is the uh, the data pack, the data, yeah, the data discs. They had seven pounds on this. I can't actually remember what this sold for. I think it was fifteen to twenty quid. Because um, there's also you got Blood Witch, the main game as well. So yeah, so that's uh, fifteen to twenty quid on that one. All right now, what we come to are the real big, big box games. <laughs> um, this one is very interesting. And if there's anyone out there that knows anything about this, this one is uh, Ultima. I can never remember what the, the number is, V111. Uh, and it, it's the Pagan box. And it's fully complete. And for those of you that know this game, it comes with like a little coin, a little silver coin. The coin is in there, which is amazing. Um, now, the reason why I highlight that is... This game has sold on eBay for 30 quid, incomplete. It has sold for 43 pounds, slightly incomplete. And it sold for 113 pounds complete. This is complete. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't know whether I'm gonna slap a 99 pound price tag on it and see, or if I'm missing something with that listing that sold for that high. Um, but. From the listings that I saw, the only difference was the fact that his one was fully complete and the other ones were missing something. So, but to be honest, even if I'm way off and this is only worth 40 or 50 quid, to get that back from a pound something is incredible. So, yeah, at first I actually thought it was missing something. There's a, like a, a material map that goes in it and that was, that's not in the box. But then I found it in one of the other boxes I'm going to show you soon. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So that could be 50 to 100 plus. I don't know. Um, this one, unfortunately, is missing the sleeve. It does have some slight box, like mold or mildew or something happening there, which does happen over time with boxes. Um, this is Magic Carpet 2. There's not much value in it. You may be looking at a fiver if that. Um, this one's pretty cool. This is the Settlers 3. Uh, this is, once again, PC big, PC big Box. And for those of you out there that sort of sometimes get a bit confused with what, what classes is Big Box, what doesn't, um, that, for example, isn't a Big Box. It's like a dvd size case. That is what they call Big Box. You'll see the size and the, the difference in size. Um, and also, technically, this is also classed as Big Box, even though it's smaller than that box. It's more of the, the fact that it's the cardboard variants. Um, so, yeah, I would still sell this as big box, even though it's smaller than that one. So, anyway, that clears that up. So, anyway, yeah, so that one is £20. I'm going to get back on that. Um, they did, oh, they did have a price on that one. They had £5 on that one. Uh, they actually had £5 on that one without the sleeve. And the Ultima, they had 15 quid on. So, yeah. Uh, Warcraft 2, um, incredibly, that one's actually still got some good value. Um, Warcraft is, 
a surprising game because of World of Warcraft. I assume that the value really dropped on a lot of these. But no, this one's like 20 quid uh, resale. This is a uh, PC, yeah, MS DOS and CD ROM. They had five pounds on that. Um, so I'll be looking at 20 quid. Uh, Mega Traveler 1. Uh, this is actually on the Commodore Amiga. See down there. Mega Traveler 1, once again, fully complete. Really nice condition. They had £15 on this. That's like old school manual out there. Uh, <laughs> comes with like a big star map and stuff as well. Which is cool. Uh, and even the warranty cards and all that are still in it. That's incredible. I mean, I, I've bought games last month and already lost the, the warranty cards just for myself. So to still have them in a box from 1990. Incredible. Anyway, they had £15 price tag on this. It's actually only worth about a tenner. Um, and that's sold on eBay, so strange. Uh, Fantasy General. Uh, this is on the, I believe this is the, the Amiga. Oh no, PC. PC, IBM PC. Um, and there's only one on eBay. He's asking 49 99 for it. I think that's a tad much. But I'm going to match it with Best Offer and see what happens. Uh, they had five pound price tag on that one there. Dungeon Keeper, a game that I owned myself back in the day, uh, 1997. So actually, that's not that old really. Um, but really nice condition. Actually, tell me why it's not. It does have a chip there. Uh, this is 20 quid, 15 to 20 quid on this one, and they had 10 pounds price tag on that. Uh, this one's good. Dune 2 or Dune 2. Um, I have seen the like cheaper label platinum. It was like it wasn't it wasn't really platinum. It was their the Amiga's version. Um, sorry, PC's version of platinum. One gold for twenty quid in this big box, but it has a different picture on. Um, so I'm going to maybe ask thirty for this because well, actually you know what, sod it. Let's ask for fifty for it um, because I'll be the only one on eBay with it. I believe when I checked. So, with, with offer, of course, because I don't have one to get that. Uh, this one's pretty cool, Shadowcaster. Um, this is PC again, I believe. Yeah, PC. Um, once again, there's only one on eBay uh, for $49.99. It seems to be like the, the price point for these things when you can't find them. Uh, they had a, I mean, incredibly, if you look at that, they had a 30, three zero pounds price tag on this. Uh, they've obviously seen that listing on eBay and thought, well, if he's getting 49.99, we can get 30. Doesn't work that way. Um, this is the Warcraft Battle Chest. Uh, well, in fact, this is the Warcraft 3 Battle Chest. Um, looking at about 20 quid on this, so that's pretty decent. Um, it's got so much in there, I mean, you can't really see, but it's really quite weighted. Uh, and this is PC as well. Right, okay, that's those. I'm still not done. This uh, this one is Syndicate Wars. No, it isn't. Syndicate Plus. Um, three pound price tag on, on that they had. Should get about a tenner for that. Um, so not too much. This one's really good. Ultima, once again, B11. I don't know, Roman numerals. Uh, the Black Gate. Um, in fully complete condition, I've seen this sell on eBay for 100 quid. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get around that because there, there are some lower ones on eBay at the moment that are incomplete around the 30, 40, 50 mark so I don't know, I'm going to have a look and see what I can do on that one they had uh, 30 quid on that as well, oh, wow. 30 quid I'm not surprised that people were walking past these at that price I just got lucky in the fact that she said you can have the lot for 30 quid. So, uh, Civilization 3, a nice big box of uh, edition. And this is, uh, they put a price of 10 quid on that, even though they know it originally sold for 9 99 which is a bit weird. Um, not much money in that, maybe 20, 25 quid uh, in its current condition. And then we have, we have four more. We've got Ultima Underworld, which uh, is sold on eBay for, I think it's between 20 and 30 quid. Don't hold me to that, I really can't remember. But uh, this is actually the big one. 
the that other map is in the map for the expensive one um because this has actually got two maps in and i thought that's strange because it said it comes with one map it turns out the maps for the other one that was missing so that's pretty cool um so yeah so that they've got a, they've got a price tag of 10 on that it's about 20 20 to 30 quid i'm running out of space here but let's do that uh this one's pretty cool this is a uh, amiga space rogue um, now this is actually they've got a price tag of 30 quid on it on eBay um, it sells for around 20 25 so I don't know where they got that 30 quid price tag from but uh, very very strange very strange but great condition uh, then we've got two more Thunderhawk which was one of my all-time favorite games on PC when I first got my PC it was this kind of specs that kind of worked on let me read the specs here if they even have the specs. No, they don't even have the specs. Experience new, fast, 3D graphics. Wow. Yeah, now, um, they don't actually say that. doesn't say the specs. This is really weird. Yeah, okay. Five away. It wasn't going to be much. Uh, unfortunately, it's also not worth much. It's about eight to ten quid. Uh, but still decent. Still decent. And then there's this one. Uh, oh, they had £5 price tag on that, which was quite high. And they've also put a £5 price tag on this, which is midwinter. Um, I remember the game vaguely uh, as a kid. This came out in 1989. And uh, this one's pretty decent, about 20 quid on this. So, uh, so that's that. Um, thanks for watching. I'm trying to keep it around the 20-minute mark. Uh, if you like vintage games, hopefully there's been a few there that you remember and that stirred up some memories for you. If you don't like vintage games, this has probably been quite a bad video for you to watch, and I'm sorry. So, thank you for watching. Always appreciate it. Um, I'll try and get some more videos out. I've just been really, really busy with so much stuff lately. And, uh, and yeah, and obviously, hopefully, if you've seen the video on Nick and Andrea's channel, um, where they came around here and, and visited uh, me and Phoebe. Uh, we had a really lovely day with them. It was great to meet them. And it was great to show them around and to show them my tat cave, <laughs> uh, as it were. And just to, yeah, just to meet him finally, because, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've seen like I've known him and, and Andrea for years. But uh, it dawned on us very early that and actually we've never actually met each other in real life. So, yeah. All of you guys that have left comments on their video, um, really appreciate it. Really enjoyed the day. So, yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, hopefully sales pick up for you guys. And I'll speak to you again soon. Cheers.